got him in wide open, complete. That's... Get it. Get to throw on third down, Horn. This will be caught at about the five. Well, this is going to depend on the... On second down, it's Little. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. It's second and 11. He's got it complete to Perkins. He'll drop to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He'll look to throw. He's got it complete to Perkins. It'll be a gain of 17 and an Indianapolis first down. Second and four. Got his man complete over the middle. They'll look to throw here. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And that is caught. And for the score. As they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis is... Now back to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where did you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> Second and two. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos push further out in front. An out route there for the score. A quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing. Really a great season. Not a whole lot to hang their head about. Not at all. And, you know, the, the winning side, they're so ecstatic. They're going to the Super Bowl. But for the guys that we're talking about, They've got to figure out how it's going to go next year. Are they going to be motivated by this loss? Or will this loss linger and really make them, you know, make it tough for them to come out of the gate strong next year? Only time will tell, but they've got to find a way to use this loss and use it as motivation. And that'll close the books on the conference championship for Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew. We'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl. Penetration as they stuff that one by the line of scrimmage. They'll drop the throw. Johnson's got it complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Give him three on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. And there. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that. Here's a second and seven. And this 
is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams have taken the lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to pick friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> They'll look to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Look at, and this is going to be intercepted. Able to. So, Charles, oh so close on one side to getting to that Super Bowl. Oftentimes, we just show the stage and the glitz and the glamour and the confetti. You sometimes forget about those guys going home. It's got to be tough. It's got to be beyond tough because finding a way to steal yourself, make that resolve to come back and do it again because it took a lot of work just to get to this point. It's going to be a difficult offseason for them. Let's see how they bounce back. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.